You're watching UNICEF television. Umi Hassan prepares flatbread inside her farmhouse compound in Pakistan's Muzaffar district. She dips her hands in clean water in between kneading dough. But until recently, finding safe water for cooking and drinking was a struggle for her and her family. The groundwater in their village had been severely contaminated after the devastating floods in 2010 and was unfit for human consumption. There was a lot of filth and water was dirty and we didn't feel like drinking it. We didn't even feel like looking at it. People would go to far off areas which were not affected by floods to fetch water. We also used to get water from the canals for drinking. Umay's niece, like many others in the village, fell prey to waterborne diseases like diarrhea. But with support from UNICEF, their village received emergency assistance like safe drinking water, water purification tablets and jerry cans. Community-led behavioral change programs also encourage families to maintain sanitation and hygiene. With all these interventions, uh, we can see that there are many positive uh, health improvements uh, in the community. Uh, the data which we gather from basic health units indicates that, you know, uh, the frequent episodes of diarrhea which were being experienced by children uh, have reduced to a considerable level. Together with its partners, UNICEF installed this water filtration plant in the village which treats the groundwater supplied to over 300 families. A local committee oversees the operation of the plant and will take responsibility for its maintenance after the first year of operation. We use water from the plant for drinking and use it for household purposes. Our women use it for cooking and making bread. To date, UNICEF has reached out to nearly 3 million people in flood-affected areas with sanitation facilities, and around 2 million are now receiving safe drinking water. The organization hopes that with programs tailored to empower communities, the victims of the floods will soon start paving their own path to recovery. You've been watching UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for Children.